Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today is a really exciting video. I have an unboxing of several plants. Probably the most plants I've ever unboxed on this channel with the exception of green spaces. So I'm super, super stoked. I do have more plants coming. They haven't shipped yet, so I'm not sure. I don't know, actually some of them did ship. I have a bunch of plants coming basically. So this is just going to be one Sorry. Super, super long, fun unboxing. I'm very excited. If you guys are too, stick around and let's get into the boxes. Yes, my hair is still blonde underneath. Why? Because I don't feel like dyeing the rest of it. And I don't know, I'm kind of like not hating it. So. I'm probably just gonna let it chill like this for a little while. When I was a teenager, I used to do like the blonde on top and then like black or a darker shade underneath, but I think I reversed it somehow on accident and I'm just kind of rocking with it for now. Hope my kids' TV is not too loud. They are contained for a little while. Watching Ranger Callie. So yeah, I've been watching a ton of Rachel's like videos and catching up on her podcasts. Um, Heart Shape Leaps After Dark. If you guys have not checked out um, her and Casey's late night podcast, you definitely should. It's hilarious. They have me and Jason dying laughing the entire time. So go check it out. But she has really got me wanting to pursue all of these beautiful begonias that have been calling my name. Here we are. So the first, I have two packages. Um, one, This one has two plants, I think, and I think this one has three plants, I think. I finally caught the tail end of a Steve's Leaves restock. I've been trying to catch one for quite a long time. I haven't been able to order from Steve Lee Steve's Leaves since last spring, I believe. They have tons of begonias that I'm really wanting to get my hands on. And I was finally able to get two of them and I'm really excited about them. So we're gonna open Steve's first. I did not pay over $15, I think it was like $14.99, some of them were $10, maybe, for any of the plants that you will see today. These ones were, I think, $15 from Steve's Leaves, which is a really good deal. So I'm excited. Okay, I better move you guys back a little bit. Okay, can you see better? Here is the inside of the box. What to do when your order arrives and a packing list. All right, this paper, our new babies. Okay, let's do this one first. All right. Fun fact, I got my very first Pilea peppermyoides last year from Steve's Leaves. I think that was my first order with them. I also got a string of pearls, which was my first one ever, and I killed it like within a couple months. Okay, first, these are both begonias. Oh, ooh, she's so cute, girl. Hello. No, what did I get? This one is Begonia YTO. I will put the name on the screen. I don't know if it's Yo, Begonia Yo. I think it gets yellow blooms, which is why I believe it says that it's named this for the yellow. So I don't know, is that how you say it? It's a really beautiful little begonia. It has these beautiful ruffled leaves with this very deep, almost a plum color on the front of the leaf and beautiful red backings. And then we have this really pretty green design on the leaves, front and back of the leaves. It looks really cool on the back there. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully this girl will bloom for me. I would love to see those yellow blooms. It's beautiful and it looks perfect. It's packaged really well. Um, there's like minimal dirt spillage. Really there's none. I mean a couple flakes, but I love it so much. I cannot tell you guys how stinking excited I am to expand my begonia collection. That's really all I can think about right now. I did get a couple other plants besides begonias that I have really been intriguing me. Nothing crazy or expensive, um, but exciting to me. So I just can't wait to share those with you guys. They should all be in this video. 
You guys have no idea how long it's taking me to get these plants out of this box. My kids keep taking turns throwing temper tantrums, so that's fun. <laughs> I've probably walked away from the camera like 15 times already. I'm not even kidding. It's fine. It's life. Oh my god, this is what I'm really excited about. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I will definitely insert some close-up footage of these guys for you at the end. For those of you that like that. But this is Begonia Taco Night. And I just seen Pam unbox one from Steve's Leaves, I think, a few days ago. Maybe last week. And it was absolutely beautiful. And it looked different than the pictures. Still absolutely just as gorgeous. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad to know what this is going to look like. Because I just ordered it and I love it. And now looking at it in person again, it looks different than it did online and also than it did in her video. So it really is a plant that you have to see kind of like in person with your own two eyes to really appreciate. I mean, it looked beautiful in pictures, but just look at it. And this does have like the um, iridescence to it. So like if I take a, if you turn the flash on and shine on it, it has like that blue shimmer and it's really beautiful so i am excited look how dark those leaves are they're like very dark with the slightest hints of like green and i don't know it looks cool and then the backs are really pretty these leaves are really big also it's impressive awesome that was steve's leaves and those are literally the only two from what i was wanting that i was able to score so here's our Steve Sleeves plants, both beautiful. You guys, ah, I'm just so excited to be getting all these new begonias. Like I have been growing the cane type begonias, cane and Rex, now for um, a year, maybe a little bit over a year, right out of year, when I got my first ones. And I don't know, I've really been wanting to expand, but I I know a lot of a lot of begonias are very delicate and finicky and I wasn't ready to put in that kind of work. I wasn't ready to put in that kind of work for those types of begonias yet, but I finally feel like I have mastered the begonia, the Cane and Rex begonia care enough that I can take on a few others. So, and none of them that I've ordered this go around are like super rare or expensive. Like I said, they were all around $15. This is from a shop on Etsy. These are from The Potted Elephant, one of my favorite Etsy shops that I order from quite often, quite regularly. That's what the inside of the box looks like. I love The Potted Elephant. They have great plants for really reasonable prices. And they actually have these plants taped down into the box. Very nice. There's three plants in here. Again, three plants. Let's do the smallest one first. Taped up really nicely. They're really secure in this box. The potted elephant honestly never disappoints. This genus of plants typically don't ship that well, so, oh, but it did, it shipped very nicely. We have one casualty I might try to propagate. This, guys is a peperomia. This is the cutest little peperomia that I've been wanting for a really long time. Like ever since I got into peperomia, I've been wanting this one, but it's not one that I would ever see like in stores where I live. So I finally ordered it and this was $10 I think for this little two inch pot. It's peperomia rosso. It is so pretty. The leaves feel so much different than I expected. That is crazy. I love it. They're very thick and succulenty. Wow, they're very thick, much thicker than they look in pictures. They have these beautiful dipped lines in the leaves, and then the back sides are a really pretty red color, like a deep red. And they're just so cool and cute. And these stay very compact and contained in their pot, which is perfect for me. It's also the, the cool thing that I'm into begonias right now because they're small and compact. I think that's a lot of the reason why I'm so into them because let's face it, I'm almost out of space in this tiny apartment and 
I, I'm in quarantine wanting more plants. It's spring, spring is here. So what better way than to fill all of my small areas with small plants? And I do have some new grow lights coming. I finally broke down and ordered some cheapy strip LED grow lights from Amazon. And those will be here, so I will let you guys know how those do. They are the colored kind, like blue and purple. I think they'll be perfect for this little stand over here. I'm using um, these lights specifically for my begonias. From what I've researched, I've found that begonias, or that the red and purple lights are really beneficial to blooming plants, such as begonias. So I think they'll really appreciate and like them. I might stick a few of my peperomia down there as well. I've been blabbering forever. Taped together, taped to the box, tape on everything. These plants were not going anywhere, I'll tell you that right now. Come on, come out. Okay, so here's the second plant from the potted elephant. That's some strong tape. Can we just, can we just say that? Very, very strong. I'm not complaining, it's a good thing. I'm trying to be careful, I'm like not doing a very good job. Oh, it's so pretty. Shoot. I might have to put the name on the screen of these last two. I'm not sure if I remember what the other one is either because I've just ordered so many different begonias from different shops that I'm like, okay, which is which. But I do remember ordering this. So this is in a four inch. This is a beautiful begonia. And I the reason I was so drawn to this one is because as most of you know, if you've been here with me for a while, I really love the polka dot, like angel wing type begonias. I love a begonia leaf with polka dots on it. And this one has it. The older leaves, it almost looks like a white polka dots, but they're actually a very light pink. So if you look on these newer leaves here, you could see the pink more. Yeah, so it's just the cutest little chubby begonia with pink polka dots and tint to the newer leaves, and it's just really beautiful. Oh, it's blooming. I just noticed it's blooming. Oh my goodness, guys. I will definitely show you some up close footage, but look, it has little cute pink blooms. I love it so much. Aww. Tons of new leaves also. The moss is very dry, so I definitely am going to need to give it a water, and then I'll probably pot it up in a couple weeks or so. I need to give it a water before I start losing leaves, because that is what begonias do in my in my experience. In my home, the begonias and the calatheas are divas, but especially the begonias, because they will, if you go even one day too long, they will straight up drop their leaves all over the place. Like new and old, it doesn't matter. They're dropping them. So I try to water them before they get to that point. And because of that, I also try to always pot them in a ceramic or glazed pot rather than terracotta, because they just dry out way too fast in terracotta. One plant left. Last babe. Oh, there's perlite and swish. Should have left the box on my lap. There's stuff going everywhere. Okay, this one had soil. Had a little accident. That's okay. Still didn't come out of the paper, though. It's all stayed contained inside of the paper, the packaging. Okay. Pretty sure I know what one this one is. I'm pretty sure because I ordered a couple of darker ones from a couple of different places, but I'm pretty sure this is the Dark Mamba, I think. Um, if I'm wrong, I will correct myself on the screen, but look at that. Definitely a goth plant. I love it. Like, it almost, when a certain way, like in certain lightings, they look almost black, but I mean, when you see it up close, you can see that they're not black. They're just a very deep, dark green. And then on the back sides, again with that back side, yes girl, we have the red backings. I'm all about it. This looks great, again in a four inch pot, very full, very beautiful and healthy looking. I love that spiral leaf. That is so cool. And the hairy stems, oh the lighting's terrible, but I might be able to get some good footage of those hairy stems for you guys. I know you can't see it in that close up, but stay tuned until the end. I love it. This one is similar to this one. Yeah, see, these are two, both two darker plants. Like my soul. 
just cutting. These are both two darker plants with kind of a similar leaf shape. They both kind of have that swirl going on with the ruffle edges. I'm really finding myself drawn to the more ruffled begonias. They're just so cute. And the darker ones, more so than like the brightly colored ones. I love them so much. Shoo. So this is all of them except for one, the tiny little two inch Peperomia Rosso. Steve's leaves, the potted elephant. Yeah. So I should be getting another box of plants tomorrow. So you should be seeing that next. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is two days later. I wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I already unboxed the plants and I realized that my mic fell off where my clip is broke. So basically, the whole time I'm getting the, the plants out of the box, you can't really hear me. The quality is terrible. So I'm going to insert snippets of that footage. I apologize if you can't hear me very well. So I placed this order with a shop on Etsy by the name of Southern Oaks Exotics. I have ordered from them before. I'm pretty positive. They have excellent packaging so i just want to go ahead and throw this in there the packaging is amazing so basically the whole time i'm talking i'm talking about how wonderful the packaging is stay tuned to the end because i will show you some better up close footage of all of the plants that i've unboxed throughout this video so let's get into the rest of the unboxing it's now saturday two days later and we have more plant now so this should have actually been here days ago. I think this shipped out on Monday, perhaps, because the mail is just insane. It didn't get here till Saturday. All my packages have just been taken all these crazy routes, and you just never know when they're gonna show up till they show up, basically. Here's the box. There is one plant in here that is not a begonia that I'm really excited about. It's actually the very first uh, plant that I'll have in this genus. So. so. Okay, they've got the, this one labeled. Here is a plant. Yeah, the paper's a little bit damp. It's not like excessively wet, but it's a little damp. So you have this stuff. Oh, 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 I just like ripped a leaf off, I think. It's taped up really good. They definitely have exceptional packaging. Faux show. Oh, this giant leaf is stuck. Whoa, look at that bad boy. Holy moly. Wow, look at that giant leaf. That just like shocked me. I was not expecting that. So this is Begonia U400, 400, literally its name. I actually ordered a couple with the number names. These leaves are impressive, very pretty. Look at that. It's like furry, it's hairy. Yeah, the leaves are hairy, the stems are excessively hairy. Like, wait till you guys see the close up of these stems. That is amazing. I'm getting paper everywhere, but it's fine. Check it out. Look at this new leaf, that is so pretty. Good packaging is like such a blessing, but at the same time, it's so difficult to get your plants out. Half the time, I end up damaging or injuring my plant that I'm trying to get out. This packaging is incredible. You really can't beat it. Ooh, this one's really beautiful. It has large leaves too. Okay, y'all, we got her out. Lord have mercy. This is Begonia U648. And it has some pretty impressive leaves as well. I really, I dig the big leaves. Very cool. You have very cute U648. Okay, so I just took the last plant out of the box and was talking to you guys and didn't realize that I forgot to hook back up to my mic. I changed shirts because my mommy duties were calling and I had to go take care of the baby and she spit up all over my shirt. So that's why I'm in a different shirt now. So this is the last plant. This is the one that I was the most concerned about. Um, I was also the most excited about. So I'm gonna have to put the name on the screen because there's no way that I can pronounce it, but this is a type of piper. This is not the panatum. Is that, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. This is not the one that I've seen getting really popular lately. This is a different variety. Yeah, I've just heard 
uh, that Pipers don't really ship that well. So for being in the mail for almost a week, I mean, it looks amazing. Maybe this one's a little bit more hardy than some of the others, but I'm very impressed with this. I've just been wanting to get my hands on. It's a very interesting and intriguing variety of plants. And I've had my eyes on them for a while. I wasn't too sure how I felt for the longest time. I did think that they looked really cool, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to go down that road. Because it seems like once you start getting into a genus of plants, once you pull the trigger and you get your first couple, it's like, okay, I need them all. I don't know if you guys are like that, but that's definitely how I am. So <laughs> obviously with the begonia craze going on right now in my house, but this is so pretty. I absolutely love the shape, but mostly the texture of these leaves, and it feels really neat too. Kind of reminds me a little bit of my Monstera Peru, just by the, the very textured leaf. But it's bumpy, and it's just very cool. Well, here we have some new leaves coming in, like several, and they all look pretty good. I mean, obviously, all of these plants are just a little bit droopy from transit but I think that mo probably I would have to give most of the credit to his packaging like I said I don't believe there's a heat pack in the box and I'm pretty positive that I ordered one granted I don't think I, that these plants really needed it. it wasn't really necessary so you know it's fine I would probably be really upset if it was like freezing outside and there was no heat pack. I think they fared really well. This one is the most droopy, but I think she looks cool. So I'm going to check their soil and give them a good water if they need it. And I'm sure that they will perk right up. Over here to the left, we have Begonia U648. We have a some type of piper which is really awesome i'm totally digging it and then we have begonia u400 i believe that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video stay tuned if you want to see all of these plants up close and personal um, counting the ones i unboxed earlier in the video let me know which plant is your favorite any care tips for this little piper here is much appreciated i have no idea what i'm doing stepping into this this territory so cute you're so cute honey i love you guys so much thank you a ton for watching and i will see you in my next video bye